my cyber warfare suite has access to the docking protocols. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to more of the adventures of Commander Shepard. I'm sure you already know that this is Mass Effect 3. And we have concluded our business on the Citadel. We have said our goodbyes, in quotes, to our um, crew. Because the intent of Mass Effect 3 was a goodbye to Shepard. Because, unfortunately, he meets with... Um, I guess an unhappy end. But this game is modded. And it's not going to happen. Not on my watch. So let's continue. And that's why I'm enjoying this so much. Because it, I'm not, you know, living under the threat of the main character dying. I, I, I just don't understand that. Why would you design a game like that after three games and I don't know how many years that people have been playing Mass Effect? that the only outcome is the death of Commander Shepard. It's ridiculous. Why would you want to continue to play the games over and over again? It's really a bad business decision. It's no wonder BioWare is falling apart. Anyhow, I'm not going to dwell on it. Let's leave orbit. I'm not going to dwell on it anymore. <clears throat> All right. So, we only have one other mission that we can possibly take right now. And that is going to the Far Rim to speak with the Quarians. Let's go. I don't know if there will ever be a game or a series as great as this, I'm telling you. All right, can we use our scans? What is this stuff? And here, nothing there. All right, let's see what we've got here in the wreckage field. Is it just, oh no, we've got some salvage, metal debris in the red light of Dolan. Okay, a battle took place. So anyway, we got, we got some assets. That's the most important thing to take away from this. All right, here we are, the Quarian Envoy ship. All right, this diplomatic frigate is like no other Quarian ship on record. Its hull is relatively low temperature and it appears to be venting heat in a manner similar to that of the Normandy when it comes out of stealth mode. How the Quarians develop this high-tech vessel is unknown. I've got an idea. Got an idea. One of Shepard's crew that's a quarian. Anyway, <laughs> his hailing frequencies are open and welcoming messages are being tight beamed to the Normandy. Let's dock. Commander Shepard, a pleasure to see you again, though I wish it were under better circumstances. I had hoped for your support in the fight against the Reapers. What's going on? Seventeen days ago, with precision strikes on four Geth systems, the Quarians initiated the war to retake our homeworld. Which was a clear violation of our agreement with the Council to avoid provoking the Geth. A treaty violation is nothing compared to recovering our homeworld and advanced AI technology. All right, let's talk about their history. Your homeworld? You mean Rannoch? Correct, Commander. Three hundred years ago, we lost our world to our own AI creations, the Geth. After we attempted to kill them? We didn't try to kill them, Chorus. We tried to deactivate them. It wasn't murder. So we've got the Admirals back from Mass Effect 3. And, of course, one of my favorite voice actresses and actress, Claudia Black, reprising her role. All right, uh, let's see. It wasn't murder. Um, 
I'm not sure what my stance was in Mass Effect 2. I think it was wrong, but anyway, they're machines, I agree. Would have been easier all around if you'd succeeded. Indeed. Our predecessors underestimated the threat. They gave the Geth time to mobilize. Whereas you chose to attack the Geth rather than consider negotiation. Well, good. It's about time. I'm glad to hear that you're finally reclaiming your homeworld. Actually, our timing may have been premature. We'd driven the Geth back to the home system when this signal began broadcasting to all Geth ships. The Reapers. Under Reaper control, the Geth are significantly more effective. Our fleet is pinned in the home system. If we're going to win, we're... Win? You insisted on involving the civilian ships, Admiral Geralt. We need to retreat or we'll lose the live ships. Where's the signal coming from? Here. A Geth Dreadnought. It can outgun anything we've got and it's heavily defended. The Normandy stealth drive can get us in undetected. I could board, then disable the Reaper command signal. Yes. Cutting off the signal should throw the Geth into complete disarray. And then you counterattack. And when the Geth are weakened, you strike hard. It's a hell of a risk, Commander. But if you can pull it off... Just be ready, Admiral. Our newest Admiral has also volunteered to offer what? technical expertise. She's an Admiral now? Oh my Abizora goodness. Abizora Normandy, reporting for duty. Glad you could make it, Tally. Wow. Admirals? Already a team to hit that dreadnought. Thank you, Commander. Admiral? It's mostly a formality. I'm an expert on the Geth. That you are. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. All right. He's going to be paragonic to the people he likes. I want to help. If I'd known it was this bad, I would have come sooner. You've had your own troubles. I'm sorry about Earth. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy. If you can help us, we'll hit the Reapers with everything we've got. Or however much is left from this stupid war. I thought you'd support the invasion. No. After talking to Legion, I thought maybe there was a chance for peace. So why help them? I'm an admiral. People look to me for guidance. Public disagreement would divide the fleet. I'll help your people win this war, Tally. Thanks, Shepard. And just so you know, I need to keep things strictly business in front of the admirals. If you'd like to catch up, let's talk somewhere private. Sure thing. I'm ready to hit that dreadnought whenever you are. All right, six renegade. Nice. Okay. Are we ready? All right, I'm just waiting for these messages to finish in the bottom right corner. All right. So Tally is back with us. And here is the Dreadnought is right next to us in the Perseus Veil. All right, we're going for it, people. Oh, we've got a bunch of stuff here, though, to scan. Oh, nothing? And there's Rannoch right there. Okay, people. We're going to go ahead and get started with Disable the Dreadnought. And I believe if I've got this intro correct, th this is epic. The music that's gonna be playing, epic. Let's go. All right, scans of the Geth Dreadnought orbiting Rannoch reveal an intimidating array of features from an improved main gun and ultraviolet anti-ship lasers to increased thruster output. The Geth workforce never demands rest, wages, or autonomy, and in the creation of their flagship, they were limited only by time and raw materials. The damage inflicted by the Quarian fleet appears minor at best. Let's talk.
Get ready. Oh, we don't have the music yet. All right, so we've got Tally, who must come with us. And since we're dealing with machines... Hmm... Hmm... <laughs> I'm going with Garrus. Let's go. All right, we've got our new armor set here. Uh, we'll go ahead, pass this. We'll keep our same weapons. All right. Wow, Tally, I was not prepared for you. Let's see, Do what shotguns do we have available? All right, you can use the new AT-12 Raider, Mark V. And you have a Predator, good. Let's put some mods on this. Okay, we'll use a Shredder mod. And a high caliber, what does this do? Accuracy? Well, you're an AI, you, you should be able to compensate. All right, so we're gonna use the high caliber barrel. Okay, and with the Predator. We'll put the piercing mod and high caliber barrel. Okay, next. Is this some. Um, okay, Garrus, you know what? I needed to switch you out, yes, to the Faston, which is a Turian weapon. Okay, and let's go ahead. Put a piercing mod on. And an extended barrel. Alright, and we've got that one modded. Is this some? Um, yeah, it's a five. Okay, we're ready. Here it goes. Oh, we still got more. Alright, well. Since I have not found a bonus power... I guess it's time for the cluster grenades. Let's see how that works out. Okay, and Garrus, we've got. Let's max out overload. Um, I'm gonna do the chain overload. That's always been my favorite. Okay, and we stay away from proximity mines, people. Those things suck is, is really the word for it. <laughs> okay, so we'll go with some energy drain here for Tally. Let's see, damage or radius? I'm going with damage. Okay, increase shield restoration or recharge speed. I'm going with recharge because I, I need her to have her powers available. Armor boost, reduce damage taken, or we're going with increased damage. Ooh, sabotage. All right, well, first let's give her her passives. Look at that bonus, 40% bonus and recharge. All right, we'll increase the tech power. Increase recharge speed of drone powers, increase recharge speed of squad mates tech powers. We're going with the drone powers at 50%. Okay. Uh, we should have a drone. Even though the drone is not as impressive. We're going with shields and damage. It's not as impressive in Mass Effect 3 as it was in 2. Uh, shock. We'll go with shields and damage. 
Chain lightning or rockets? Chain lightning. Alright, so... We can put a point, I guess. Do we get two points? And sabotage. Alright. So this is basically her build, and we're not going to use a defense drone. Okay. Now, the music. There's no music. We're approaching the quarry and home system. ETA to Rannoch, five minutes. What have you got from the comm buoys? Pretty much a big old shitstorm, Commander. I have detected several hundred unique ship signatures engaged in active combat. Yeah, like I said. Take us in, Joker. Okay, I think it's coming, people. Stealth drive engaged. It's coming. The only way they'll detect us is if you all start singing the And Russian I love that new anthem. armor Shepard's got on. Here it comes. Yup. chocolate she said she saw it and thought of me why oh nothing mm. Shepard, there's a problem all teams except one are physically secured i see the free one pretty torn up though too risky for the whole team i'll secure the docking area everyone else can follow me over roger that commander we'll just stay here you know quietly hang tight it'll just be a minute All right. I really like this armor, though. Um, can I jump across here? I guess not. Oh, this is the, yeah. This is the gravity-defying puzzle. No wonder the Quarians were having trouble. That ship is enormous. It is 30% larger than an Alliance Dreadnought. There's no up, and there is no down, people. Oh, and I can't... Oh, come on, you can't get across here. Oh my goodness, because it's slightly bent. Alright, uh, can we... This is probably bent too, right? No, let me through. Jokes from Mass Effect 2. Whoa! Looks like. 
like the rest of the team isn't using the docking tube. So I'm guessing you'd rather not solo the Dreadnought. Not if I can help it. Ask Tally to get on the Dreadnought schematics. If she can point me at another docking tube, I'll override the controls and let the boarding party on. I've got gravity again. Great. I'm looking for... Got it. There should be a hull breach not far from your position. The nearest undamaged docking tube is on the other side. I think I found that hull breach you mentioned. Admiral Garrel tried a frontal assault. We lost six frigates. That tiny hull was the only damage we did. I wouldn't call it tiny. Not the way you'd have done it? No. He was too aggressive. I argued, but as Admiral of the Heavy Fleet, it was ultimately his decision. Can I jump down here? What about yes. the other Admirals? Zen backed the invasion, largely as a chance to test her toys. Ron gave provisional support. Only Chorus opposed the war with me, and he was right. We could lose the whole fleet, Shepard. Not if I have anything to say about it. Uh... I don't know where I'm going. Okay, here maybe? Alright, this looks better. Are these consoles that I need? I don't think so. It's kind of dark in here. Alright, here we go. Up the ladder. There's a door there, and that is our door. Oh, oh! Seriously? Can I do a running jump? Alright. No puzzles! Love it! console is this it down here it is okay now this is salvage I've got 1875 in credits where how am I overriding the lock this isn't it oh it's up there Let's use the docking controls. Got it. You're clear to board. See any action? All quiet so far. They haven't detected us yet. Here, let me see if I can get this open. In the meantime, take a look at this. There, it's open. We're clear to go. So yes, the arc pistol. Looks impressive. But I'm not going to use it. Design. It transmits an energy pulse on contact that disrupts shields and synthetics. That'll be handy. How come I don't get a new gun? Wouldn't find one in your size. Oh, oh, oh boy, these two. Okay, but yeah, we're not using our pistols because it's level we're one. We're looking for an operation center. I can disable the Reaper command signal from there. Where's the closest one? Past their defense network and through a sensor cluster. We should be able to output enough damage that we won't need arc pistols. Plus, they both have uh, energy drain and overload. Okay. Guardian anti fighter lasers. Looks like they're using ultraviolet frequencies, like the Solarians. Expensive. Bet it gives them an edge in close combat, though. When the fleet rushed the dreadnought, those lasers carved right through our ships. We'll make them pay for that. 
And look here, sniper rifle, a can't scope. Let's keep moving. And it's that time, it's early. So let's get our save in. We don't want to have to go all the way back to the beginning. Should something terrible happen to Shepard and his crew. Oh, what's this? Bridge controls. Here they come. Singularity out. Bro. Bro. I'm Garrus. Alright, are you busy? Hold on. Before we move forward. Do we have our armor piercing on? There we go. Alright, armor piercing for the whole squad. Let's move. Stay sharp. Garrus, overload. Tally. Energy drain. On the way. I don't hear an alarm. They're yet. They send alerts to every unit on this ship. We need to get to the operation. Singularity out. Okay. Thank you, crew. Thank you, squad. We're doing good. Fortunately for Shepard, these these uh <laughs> robots are um unshielded at the moment. But you know, it's gonna get worse. What's this? A Geth just standing right here in the open? Energy drain and overload. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Look out! Okay, who? Ooh, um, Tally, be careful. All right. Well, that was awkward, but we got through it. Tally, you're liking that raider, I can tell. Mm, hold still. There we go. Overload, energy drain. It's quite a combination. All right, Geth data. More credits for us, 2,500. All right, let's keep moving. Signal Look, console. The signal's hitting all Geth processes. The Reapers have them completely under control. We've tried jamming it, hacking it, and piggybacking garbage data to corrupt it. Nothing worked. Okay. Was there anything else? I'm not seeing any other... Oh, here we go. Sensor data. Any sign of how the Quarians are doing? We're taking heavy losses. The Geth have a planetary defense cannon. It's ripping through our fleet. Mm. They just need to hold out a little longer. Alright, let's keep going. Wow, this room looks just the same as the last one. Oh, a Geth pulse rifle, okay. You know, these weapons are great. The arc pistol and, and this pulse rifle, if you were playing as an engineer, they would be really great weapons. 
The Dreadnought's operation center is just ahead. Good. Let's get the Reaper signal and turn the tables on these bastards. No, oh, they're cloaked. The hunters are moving. Moving in. Garrus overload. Oh, I forgot how those hunters like to jump. Singularity out. Throw. Singularity out. Throw. Oh. Forget how truly biotic I am. Oh, sorry, Tally. What is this a hunter over here? Thank you. Woo! That's the last of them. Let's see if that console is operational. Okay, let me get some ammo. Data console. Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. I think it's handling information from all Geth everywhere. Hmm, interesting. Oh, what was that? Oh! Proximity mine, I take it? What? What? I don't know. Wow. I guess I need to be more alert. Alright, we have an SMG scope. We need to hurry! My people are getting torn apart out there! Tally. They've locked down the Reaper signal. We can't shut it down from here in the operation center. Okay. There, the Reaper signal's coming from the drive port. So there, that get, red area. Right, but how do we get there? The Get have sealed emergency bulkheads to block us off. We need a route to the drive core that can't be blocked. A path that runs the length of the ship. What about the main battery? It runs right by the drive core. That could work. But the Gets still have us locked in here. We need to get these doors open. They've locked high-level processes. We need something basic. Oh, a we're supposed to be watching this. Like a fire. What about the heat diffusion system? Wait, if I faked a thermal warning, it would open all maintenance tubes for emergency venting. Would that override the lockdown? Yes. Okay, I've got it primed. But be ready. I'm reading hostile death on the other side of the doors. Mm, here we go. Oh, and I didn't save. Oops. We've got to survive. There could be cloak hunters as well. Damn. Wow, I forgot how they do. What have you guys got? Oh no, Tally's down? Garrus, where are you? Okay, thank you, Garrus. Oh, we did it. Wow. Okay. Um, isn't the maintenance shaft over here? Look at how much data the Dreadnought Central Processor is handling. I think it's handling information from all Geth everywhere. 
Okay, this is now open, and I'm gonna save. A lot of ships, but nothing like this. The contours are all off. It's not built for organics. Shouldn't be too much farther to the main battery. I'm surprised they'd send you on this mission, Telly. Even admirals are expected to serve. I'm better at hacking than I am ordering ships around. Yeah, against an enemy dreadnought, your combat drone would just float there making that noise. I missed you too, Garrus. Wow, these two. I'm glad I brought them along. They can really share their feelings with each other in covert and uh, suggestive ways. Uh-oh. All right, well, people, we're going to end the video here, and we're going to come back with a part two of the Geth Dreadnought. This is Hill, and I'm out.